Welcome to the video. Here, we're given a probability question that's similar to the ones we've calculated before using contingency tables, but now the contingency table isn't given. This is a good example of how data is sometimes presented to you in real life. If it had been presented in a table, it would be easier to calculate the probabilities, but it may not be. It may be presented in text format. So an important skill is taking that information in text format and converting it to a table. So I've kind of outlined the table we'd be using here. The way I went about doing this was to notice kind of the two sets of categories. People in this survey have been organized either by their age and also by whether they responded or not. So the two age categories surveyed are the two columns of the table, and whether they were not or not they responded are the rows of the column. And I've left space for totals on all of those because many of that information is given to us in the story. So let's go first and see the first piece of information. They contacted 85 people in the 18 to 21 age bracket. So that's the total number of people in 18 to 21. There were 85. Now it says 72 of them respond and 13 refuse to respond. So I go to the respond category and I say, okay, 72 of them responded, 13 refused. Now we look at our second set of information. Now we're dealing with people in the 22 to 29 age bracket and it tells us 288 people were contacted. So that's my total, oops, that doesn't look like an eight, 288. 258 of them respond, and 30 refuse to respond. Then they throw one more useful piece of information here, this 373. Now they say, assume that one of the 373 people is randomly selected. So that gives us a total for the whole table. We could also have come up with this by hand by adding the 85 and the 288. And now let's see what's the question they're asking here. They want to know, if we choose one of these people in this table at random, what's the probability of getting someone in the 18 to 21 age bracket or someone who refused to respond? So if we write that out in terms of probability, we want the probability the person is 18 to 21 or they said no, they refused to respond. In order to do this, we can think about turning it into a fraction. It's not a conditional probability. So the total number of events in the sample space is the total number uh, of individuals in our table. So total number of people contacted, I guess. Total number contacted. The numerator for an OR probability is going to be the number of people in the 18 to 21 category plus the number of people in the NO category minus the number of people in both categories. That's the number of, of outcomes that would make this event happen. So the number, there we go, the number of 18 to 21 year olds plus the number of no's minus the number of 18 to 21 year old no's. So let's fill in each of those numbers. The number of 18 to 21 year olds, we can see that total. There was 85 18 to 21 year olds, so we got that by adding together that. So we've got an 85 here plus the number of no's. If we look at our no category, we had a 13 and a 30. When we add that together, we get a 43. We've got 85 plus 43. And then we have to subtract off the number that got double counted, the number of 18 to 21 year olds who said no. That's that 13 there. You can see how it got double counted. So we're going to subtract off that 13. So for a numerator, I've got 85 plus 43 minus 13. Let's do that out giving me 115 for my numerator divided by my denominator, the total number contacted, 373. That's hard to show up, so it's 115 over 373. They're asking for it as a probability converted to a percent, so we're going to do 115 divided by 373, which gives me 0.3083, um, one decimal place accuracy as a percent. So we're going to multiply by 100, which turns into 30.83, and they only want one decimal place, so we would enter it here as 30.8. So based on in the information in that paragraph, we'd say if we randomly, of all the people surveyed, 
what percent were either in the 18 to 21 age bracket or refused to respond, it would be 30.8 percent. We we'll randomly pick one person from this table. There's a 30.8 percent chance that they're either uh, 18 to 21 or they said no.